folks. Um, I just had an amazing experience that I'd like to share with the world. It's uh, essentially a tantric practice, which is transfiguration. And I just had it, uh, I had the experience um, probably a couple of hours ago, and it's just been an amazing transformation in my state of being. And lots of, you know, realizations of flood from this experience of, of oneness, of unity, of um, understanding, connectedness. And it is, is a profound practice, you know, transfiguration of, of really eye gazing and, and connecting with someone on a, on a really deep level. And, you know, things that, that seem, you know, like really like a huge obstacle in your life. Um, in certain you know chapters throughout the day, um, can really be sort of washed to the side, just to, to the riverbanks, with um, with a spiritual practice such as transfiguration or or whatever kind of um, practice you're doing um, to raise your vibration. Can um, it's just amazing how things can be put in different perspectives, and that you can be essentially um, liberated from certain sort of traps of mind by um, really raising your awareness to higher domains of consciousness and perspective, more of a global, you know, expansive state. And from that place, you can create so much more and you can be so much more in charge of your life and so much more in charge of the way in which you react to situations, in charge of your beliefs, in charge of essentially just your existence and your, and your purpose here on planet Earth. And, you know, having these peak experiences is such a beautiful download of amazing energy from the universe and really reminds, what's well, reminding me of, of how, how we're here for, here for, for some fun and here to enjoy life. And it's just, ah, you know that feeling where you're just like, yes, I know why I'm here. <laughs> um... Yeah, and I just kind of want to speak also a little bit about um, kind of people have these different practices to get to this oneness. And if you're an atheist, for, for, for example, like if you can get to higher states of consciousness being an atheist, go for it, do it. Do what you need to do. Like, But a lot of people need a concept such as um, being source, God, um, the universe, and this total understanding that's beyond the mind to sort of reach these higher states of consciousness. Um, but that's not, that's not everybody. Um, and if they float your boat as well, then do it. The, the real state of, of love is what you're aiming for. So it doesn't matter really which discipline, which religion, which spiritual practice you're, you're, you're deciding to choose in your path here on earth. I think the real reference point here is, is, is love and free attention and, you know, feeling alive and feeling present and feeling like we're here. And, you know, nothing can escape that experience for yourself. Like it's, maybe not escapes the right word. Nothing can kind of match that. Like that's your experience. That's, that's no one else's. And that's something that you have within yourself and, it essentially, it doesn't matter which practice you, you take, but if you can reach these, you know, high states of consciousness and love, then it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> because you're essentially raising the vibrations of planet Earth and, you know, healing our human family that needs a lot of work at the moment. And, you know, it's just a beautiful state to be in and I feel to share my state right now with the world. And, uh, yeah. So I hope you're all well, and some of you are hopefully enjoying this podcast or this vlog, and um, namaste, and have a have a beautiful beautiful day. Namaste.